our award winners for the Goldie Crocker Award for those who do well and are especially recognized for their talents and their skills in the nursing profession. Joan is on, no longer with us. However, one of her colleagues, Robert Bean, and also one of my graduates, and he was also a student of hers when she was an adjunct, adjunct would like to do a brief dedication to Joan. That will then be followed by a media presentation put together by the graduates. And finally, um, Professor Tasker will say a few words. Robert? Phenomenal, amazing, magnificent, spectacular. These are the words that come to mind every time I think of Professor Joan Hubbard. Some people here remember Joan as an NHTI nursing student, and others remember her as one of the most inspirational nursing professors from NHTI's nursing faculty. I remember Joan as one of the very first nursing professors that made me believe in myself, reminding me every clinical day that I could do this, that I will do this, and eventually I will be good at this. Joan Hubbard was a 2007 graduate from NHTI's nursing program. She continued her education after NHTI and went on to get her bachelor's degree in nursing. Joan had such passion for nursing that when she taught, she taught straight from her heart. She was so confident and caring in a way that was so infectious. Joan left us earlier this year after a long battle with cancer. I not only got the privilege to be a student of Joan's, but I was also honored to have the great opportunity to work with her. Thanks to her great recommendation, she gave me to Concord Hospital. I remember the last conversation I had with Joan. I told her I hoped that someday she would teach again, because I felt that every student that did not have the chance to have her as a nursing instructor was at great disadvantage. She looked at me with a smile and said, I'm so glad you feel that way. And I too, I too hope to teach again. But right now I need to take care of me first. I know that I'm not only speaking for myself, but for other nursing graduates. Joan Hubbard was one of the most amazing, inspirational nursing professors we ever got the honor to learn from. I would like to end this dedication with a reading that Joan Hubbard read to her last clinical group. And I'd like to forward this reading to the graduate nurses of 2013. Oh, how I can think of a million things I wish I had known when I was a brand new RN. Like, whatever you do, don't, I repeat, don't freak out. <laughs> Panic never solves anything, and indeed may make it worse. Even if your confused elderly patient yanks out his triple lumen and is wandering around the floor bleeding, or you realize you just discharged a patient without a doctor's order. Or if your 30-something-year-old patient codes during an iron dextrin infusion, at least pretend to keep you cool. You can fall apart when the crisis is over. And remember, all bleeding, vomiting, diarrhea, coughing stops eventually. <laughs> Learn to prioritize no matter how insistent your patient is on having her pillow fluffed right now, remember your post-op patient's pain meds are much more important. Also, watch the experienced nurses to see how they prioritize tasks of equal importance. This happens more often than not. The best way to encourage some patients to get up and pee is to wave a catheter under their nose and tell them, if you don't go in the next hour, I'm gonna have to put one of these in. No matter how ingenious your interventions, if you don't chart it, you didn't do it, give yourself credit for the hard work you've done. It's okay to cry, and it's even okay to laugh. A lot of what we deal with every day is just plain funny. It's even okay to get mad. Some people do incredibly stupid, dangerous, foolish things, and, if you, and you'd hardly be human if it didn't piss you off sometimes. You cannot, however, tell your patient that they are stupid, dangerous, or foolish. You will have good days and bad days. Unfortunately, the bad days are the ones that always seem to come in groups. 
The more IVs you start, the quicker you will get at it. Be flexible. This prevents you from getting bent out of shape. Above all, med surge nursing is the toughest job you'll ever love. And if you don't love it, leave it. There are already too many nurses in this field who are only doing it because they need the money or because they're just trying to mark time until they can retire. Or because that's all they know and they're too tired and too burnt out to learn any other area of nursing. Our patients deserve the very best care possible. Only those who truly enjoy med surge nursing are able to give it. I want to give a special thanks to Joan Hubbard's family for providing the beautiful pictures of Joan. I also want to thank Natasha Cody for taking the time to put together this slide and Heather Brooks for submitting the reading by Joan. Thank you.